In this video, I'll show you how to quickly analyze a large amount of data. So the first thing we want to do is take a look at what type of data are we dealing with. So I'm over at cell A1. I'll hold down the control key, tap the down arrow key, and you can see we have 2,700 rows of data. I'll go back to the top, and now I'll hold down the control key and tap the right arrow key. And that takes us to the last column in this block of data. I went ahead and highlighted the columns we're going to focus on. We have a start date, and that's going to tell us when this tour starts. And the first thing we're going to want it to do is to basically look at all 2,700 records and group them by the year. Then we're going to want it to break those into the types of tours. And we have three types of tours. We have a cruise, we have a biking tour, and we have a walking tour. Once it's broken those down, then we want each of those tours, we want to know which country it starts in. So we'll use the start country. And then we want to know how many people have booked for each of those tours. So you might be thinking that's going to take a lot of time, but not if you know pivot tables. So all you have to do is click somewhere in your block of data. Then you go up to the tab that says insert and you click on pivot table. By default, it selects the range or the block of data that you're in, and it assumes you want a new worksheet. I recommend you keep it at new worksheet. We'll choose OK, and we're getting ready to build our pivot table. But take a look over at the far right. Notice we have pivot table fields, and these fields are the column headings of our block of data. So the first thing we wanted it to do was to group by the year. We'll go to the start date and simply put a check there. And look over here, we now have all of that data broken into specific years. And you might take a look down toward the bottom here. We have years, quarters, and then start date. I'll expand 2021, and then I'll expand fourth quarter. I'll also expand 2022. I'm not really interested in looking at the quarters or the months. So all we have to do is come down to this area that says rows and we'll just click on quarters and I'll drag it out. And I'll do the same thing with the start date and now we have it broken into just the years. Now the next thing we wanted to know is what type of tour they were. So we'll click on tour type. And now notice inside of each year, we now have each of the tours. Next, we wanted to know the start country. And look at that, We've broken those up for us. And then we wanted to know how many people booked each of the tours. So we'll click on number of people and look at that. We now know in 2021, we have a total of 204 biking tours. 80 of them are in England, 92 start from France and 32 start from the USA. That was pretty darn fast. But you know what? I would rather have the tours going across. So all you have to do is come over to the tour type and in the rows, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to drag it over to columns. And look at that. Now I can make them a little bit bigger if I wanted. And I could even select these and tell it to center them so it looks a little nicer. Look how quickly we were able to analyze that data. So there's the power of pivot tables. Now there's a lot more to pivot tables that you can do, but this is going to get you started. If you like this video, make sure you click the subscribe button below. And if you want to learn more about Microsoft Excel, we have over 31 live one hour instructor led hands on classes for you to choose from. And don't forget to download our free Excel keyboard shortcuts. Have fun starting to reclaim your valuable time.